Skiing, clearly, it's something that up to 20 million Europeans will struggle with by 2040 because of a condition called macular degeneration, and that's related to age. It's one of the most common causes of blindness, and it's still very difficult to diagnose until it's already taken hold. But that might be about to change. Our science correspondent, Julian Lopez, reports on a possible solution uh, that's being developed in a hospital in Vienna. Last summer, this 79-year-old former psychotherapist was diagnosed with age-related macular degeneration. The part of her eyes needed for sharp central vision was damaged. I noticed that when I read close to in a book or a newspaper, I saw worse and worse, and I had to take a magnifying glass for it. When it was very difficult, I read with a magnifying glass. In her case, like in many others, the diagnosis only came when the first symptoms appeared, but the disease is often there well before. The, the disease is very difficult to diagnose, especially in the early stages, because it takes place on a very small part of the retina. The macula is just about one millimeter in size. So we're dealing with really tiny changes in the retina that can cause a lot of damage. This makes it all the more important to detect them as early as possible, as long as vision is still good. Now European researchers are developing a new technique aimed at providing earlier diagnostics, which could lead to better treatments. The approach relies on three very complex optical technologies. The projected outcome would allow doctors to see what's inside the patient's eyes at molecular level. One of the challenges with this method is, of course, the sensitivity of the eye to light. The big advantage of the method is that I don't have to touch the eye, I just take light and can scan the eye with the light and measure the light coming back from the eye. And the light coming back from the eye contains all the information I need for diagnostics. The technology could be ready in five years, researchers say, too late for patients like Bubble, but maybe not for the around 288 million expected to suffer from the disease around the world by 2040. I come around three times a month to the hospital, and once a month I get an injection. After that they control me. If something's changed on the retina, they let me know. They've always explained to me very well about this disease. An eyes being an open window to the brain, the technology could also be used for the early detection of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Julian Lopez, Euronews, in Vienna, Austria. Well, Julian Lopez is back uh, with us here in the studio, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this. Good morning, Julian. Good morning. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about this technology that's being developed. So the technology we're talking about um, has quite the scary names. We're talking about optical coherence tomography, we're talking about fluorescence imaging, we're talking about uh, spectroscopy. Um, all these technologies, they already exist. Now what the researchers are trying is to put them together in the same device and make them work together at the same time. Um, and in this way, they think they could have a much more clear picture of what's happening inside our, our eyes. And that is full of challenges, but it's also full of opportunities, that you should have said, um, because uh, in this case, they can, um, you know, eventually see many of the diseases inside the, the, the eyes. The retina doesn't change much all along your life. Uh, and if there is any change, that means that there is an, a disease inside the eye and in the body. So um, they think that uh, they can also use this technology to diagnose all the diseases like diabetes and also since the eyes are heavily connected to the brain um, diseases like um, Alzheimer's or multiple sclerosis also. And Julian, you said uh, in your report there that uh, the time frame on this is about five years for this technology to be ready. Does that mean that if I'm diagnosed today uh, I'm not going to see any of the benefits? Um, 
what researchers have told us is that the technology, from a technical point of view, can be ready in five years. Now, that doesn't mean that the technology um, is going to be available for patients and doctors in five years, uh, because we're talking about medical devices. That means that uh, you need to you need to go through very complex and long clinical trials with uh, very strict ethic protocols. And in this case, researchers are already planning ahead some clinical trials. They will have like um, uh, 100. Um, uh, persons, uh, including healthy volunteers and also sufferers from um, Alzheimer's and macular degeneration.